The stage was set for powerful women who broke through male dominance to make their mark in the political arena, included Eastern Highlands Governor Julie Soso, Community Development Minister Lujaya Kuza, Bougainville Parliamentarian Rose Pihey, and political icon Dame Josephine Abaija, our first lady politician humble in her remarks. The Australians who were counting their votes couldn't believe it. So all my other friends were already uh, declared and they were, you know, they had to count my vote one, two, three times before they could say that a woman won. <laughs> The similarity expressed by all four women when deciding to get into politics was the fact that they had the backing of their communities. They said public perception and support played a big role. You have got to be back in your electorate, live there. You cannot play this game remote control, living in Port Moresby. I did not give up, I did not want to let the woman of Eastern Islands down. I know we can get there. I was saving my people throughout the world. People who were wounded came to hospital, came to the hospital, and I had that person to go out and, and provide you know, little kinds of service to them, like giving them food, giving them clothes, giving them small amounts of money. But it was when the discussion on the 22 reserved seats for women came up that stirred a ripple in the room. Mr. Kuza was blunt with her remarks. You like I mean nothing true, she not inside of this house, sorry lo you. No can hear time you talk talk. You know, fit lo son of Karono sent me in a winning election. Listen to the alternative, the three of us. Harim, listen to what the three of us want to provide, how we can help you to come inside. We can work with the legislation for the deputy governor's position. Because the economics of it will bring in 22 plus women, nothing through, no that constituency blow you. Who's up behind and talk blow you inside the heart when it comes to vote for the budget, vote for all something? You haven't been on the inside. You ain't seen nothing yet. A university student also agreed that if females or anyone for that matter wanted to be respected, they had to challenge the men. Like not being able to stand for the election and get voted. If men can stand for election, we can stand for election. We can get voted, we can make it into power. So forget about the idea of research. Let's stand for election, let's all support women and get it. A case in point is the Bougainville experience. Minister Pihei explained that the three reserved seats for women don't really have the power to vote when it comes to making budget decisions. The room was calmed down when facilitators reminded those present that if their concerns were to be heard, they had to speak with one voice. Meredith Kusa, National MTV News.